Aquanam's leaking right here. You can see the algae growing on it, on the side of it. But it's uh, minor, and they just keep uh, putting pump in it every other day or so. Well, these sand, uh, sandbags aren't even touching the aquadam. Oh yeah, they're uh, uh, off the aquadam by uh, up to 12 inches. All this stuff has to be packed out. All the orange sandbags, all the plastic, all the two by fours, and that's what they're doing uh, before they uh, get done. One of the last things you're doing. Quite a bit of room behind these sandbags. So they're not supporting the aqua dam at all. Well, first they had to cut this line, and now they're putting. Uh, this special material in it and then they're going to cock over it. The, the cut's only about two inches deep. Don't know why they did that, but I'm sure there's a good reason. That's how they cut the lines. Here's another line every eight feet, I guess you cut it. Every ten feet they cut it. You know why they, uh, they, they do that? Keep it from breaking. That's why they cut it. You only cut it about two inches deep, don't you? So, uh, crack control. This is uh, so it doesn't all crack uh, and it has to stop there at the cut. Well, I'll be darned. Good deal, thank you. <laughs> well, not many people would know that. A, uh, this is uh, rails that the uh, in the concrete there a little runway so that the, they can launch their docks their floating docks and pull them up out of the water that's what these uh, two tracks are for we shove this right down in that crack and you can see it Ooh. This again keeps the uh, concrete from cracking at a later date. This is what they dug out of uh, the bottom of the lake. It ended up being a lot of material. This was just soft mud. I don't know how many truckloads, but 25 to 100. Of course, all this has to be hauled off. A lot of the big stone over here, they had to haul in so they could walk out there to dig out the rest of uh, this gray, uh, runny, uh, clayish mud. So they had to pack in a bunch of stone, now they got to pack out the stone, plus all the mud. This was all mud. This has been uh, uh, put there after it uh, got hard. This is hard now. This looked like this before they moved it into a pile like that. They had to cover up the cement. The inspector said it was too cold. And um, it is cold. It's snowing. So first snow of the year. So uh, their joint uh, putty 
that's not the right word, but uh, it's only good for 40 degrees, so it's uh, a lot colder than 40 degrees. And it's uh, October the 18th. Uh, so uh, it's time to get any get gonna get any warmer for until June. Well, the contractor took uh, the temperature of the cement with a thermometer that you would uh, use on your forehead, <laughs> and uh, it is 43 degrees. So he's three degrees to the good, above 40 and that's minimum for the caulking and uh, so he's good to go and uh, they didn't want rain they covered it up now the sun's out and uh, it looks from the surrounding beautiful nevada mountainsides that the storm has passed so no more rain They've got uh, four submersible pumps running. This culvert doesn't appear to have a, a pump in it. This one uh, is active, this one's active, this one, and this one over here. It can actually uh, be turned on with a uh, three inch pump also, if uh, the submersible two inch doesn't take care of the problem. But they had to dig it out and backfill it with uh, gravel. Otherwise, the other sediments will just come in on them. So it was quite the operation, according to the contractor. But once that uh, happened, everything got w working right and no more problems. This is what, uh, how much water is being pumped out continuously. There are three two inch pipes here. And a two inch pipe here. This one's kicking out a bunch of water. And you can, and there's one uh, hole, uh, sump pump there, sump pump there, there, there. And this big one, there is no sump pump. Snow from last night. First time it's been driven on. They're gonna remove these uh, sandbags. They're not doing anything anyway. They're not even touching the aquadium. The uh, big sandbags are all gone. The aqua dam didn't move at all. Water running down the side of it, of course, right through here. There, boom, 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 boom. Eventually makes its way to uh, the sump pump. A green hose, suction hose, when we installed it, that we uh, couldn't get up. So or, uh, they lost it over the side, but we can get it now. That's how far that uh, pump was in the ground. Now they're gonna fill the hole in. Well, this is the uh, next morning. We worked until an hour after dark last night, so I couldn't take any pictures. 
and uh, most of this water out here uh, came in uh, last night. The, uh, this uh, six inch pump and hose, uh, they just started here about 15 minutes ago. So uh, that's how much water they had to pump every day. Not this much, it, it was several feet lower than this, but it's a considerable amount of water they have to pump. So, uh, there we go. We're draining the aqua dam from the closed end. Now the, the, this uh, aqua dam that's uh, 100 feet long will be uh, 100 foot open in on both ends. Go across the ditch, small channel, something like that. The big dam is kind of on uh, the side of it. So we got to stop every couple of minutes, let the water drain. So this is a stop moment. See how much water is inside the bag, how high it is? So, but it's draining out. It's draining. You can see the water coming in on it now because it drained down and it's draining out the far end. So, uh, it's going good.